Welcome into the locker room. Coming up on tonight's show, we continue the talk on whether football should be about more than just success and results. We focus on Real Madrid's defensive struggles and discuss what should be done about them. And we ask if Unai Emery has a defensive problem of his own, one Thiago Silva. We are happy to have Ray Hudson hey, back hey, on the hey. panel with us. Back Don't from his 1,000 day cough. How long is it, um, <laughs> Christian? <laughs> 1,000? It's been about four years. Four, four years. Year <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you back, Ray. Thanks, Keith. Okay, let's get started then. The theme of the week here on Be In Sports is whether football clubs owe it to their fans to do more than just win their games. Entertaining the masses versus getting the right results. We're asking which is more important. And there are a few teams and games that have sparked this debate of late, but one is Manchester United's visit Ooh. to Sevilla. No. Does Mourinho have a duty to entertain the fans, or is the result the most important thing? Of course well, the result's Gary. the most important no. thing. I mean, you play soccer to get results. You've got a draw Do away we? from home. Do you we? can bring them back to Old Trafford, win the game, go through to the quarterfinals. I don't care how he plays his football. Oh. He can get to the final Mine's and bad, then maybe yeah. last 10 minutes put on a bit of a show, beat by Munich 1-0 and we're European champions. This is going to well be, done, Mourinho. This is it's going to be football. shifted to the Dutchie because I tell you what, if the Dutch had played, they, they divided uh, 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 their own country when they started to play in a different way, I think. Um, the same thing happened with Brazil. They have an identity and Man United have an identity, Gary. That's me. The play. head. The head. <laughs> now, they, this Brazil team have reinvented themselves. They do entertain. They do attract. I know it's on the uh, international level, but the thing that I think shades Manchester United under Mourinho, Gary, is that when you look at the competition of the, pl the, the men that he's up against uh, within the EPL, the likes of uh, Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, uh, who's Pochettino. Your, Pochettino. Beautiful, attractive teams that are getting results. Man United aren't doing so much you, now. You mentioned Pochettino. It's quickly before we pass it on. Pochettino, 52 goals for Spurs this season. Man United, 51. Arsenal, wonderful footballing team, 51 goals. Same as Man United. We're scoring plenty. Talk about the statistics. Aesthetics, goals is what it's all about. Yeah, right. It's the aesthetics, not the statistics. <laughs> Let's all join in. It's the aesthetics, not the statistics. It's the aesthetics, not the statistics. Take it easy, man. No, no, no. Real quick, if you look at the uh, evolution of, of, of football, 50 29, when you were around, okay, when, when they played uh, the, the Calcio in Fiorentino, uh, 27 players versus 27. 27 players, you know that uh, at the uh, Piazza Santa Croce yeah, in deep. Florence, of course. Go to the WM system, go to Clockwork Orange, go to Spain, right. go to Barcelona. Yes. What has happened in those years? And then in 2014 at the World Cup, I went, Ugh. Spain didn't get out of the first round, all of a sudden got uglier and uglier, including right. the Dutch, unfortunately. Yes. And now we have seen a resurgence a little bit. Saying yes. that though, Atleti, what, in the last four years, three times in the finals, won La Liga as well. Yeah. <laughs> and we all know what Atleti is all about. Is, 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 is all about. Madrid, the last two years, has been pragmatic. Not right. necessarily but lights still, out, but, but you can still watch it. Against you against you can agree. still watch it. You couldn't watch Man United no, the other night. I, I mean, more. come on. If you bring in Pogba for 100 million in the three or four other players, Please utilize them. Let them free within, within organization techniques. Yeah. Go, Alexis baby. Sanchez. 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 What do you say? Same player. Thomas, it's, what not do you always, say? it's not always the coach's fault. Let them free. They're free because when they got the ball, they decide who to give the ball to. They don't say, wait a minute, coach, we don't have to give the ball. They have the ball in their feet. They decide. The thing is that when you don't play good, you need to find an excuse. Man United are horrible. I can't watch Man United. Atletico, I can't watch, if, when they're playing, I don't watch their game. People want to be entertained. I People want to have fun watching their games. I can have a respect. I mean, Ray coached in MLS for many years, and Ray was very similar to me. We love to play and go out and, and, and basically say we'd rather win 5-4 right. than lose 1-0, right. which is sometimes suicide. Right. I, and I've been fired over because I stood behind my Dutch philosophy, 4-3-3, right. three, three, dominant, technical, tiki-taka football. Okay? I won some, I lost some. But, but I can still respect 
a, a master tactician. I can respect so what's the point. So the way, the way he has well. There's sure. something beautiful about that as well. In yes. general, the game, Rock, you yes. right. But United right now, I can't, no, I can't no, watch but either. What, so when we say to Mourinho now, so Mourinho, uh, we d don't worry about beating Sevilla. We want you to play a lovely football. If you lose to Sevilla, it's not a problem. No, Gary, that's, no but that's, Gary, you Gary, have to win it, first and foremost. You have to play to win. Because if you are entertaining, but have conceded 50 goals and they're not winning all of their games. Sanchez then? If that's what you why buy yes, it? We've scored as many goals the as first, Arsenal have scored and Spurs. It, he scores goals, but he first, works hard, he Gary, gets back. I was telling you before, the first eight teams in the world, I played in all the big teams. You've yeah. got to play good and win. But you have to play good. You have to give something. Yeah, but you have to be clever. No, if you play good against Barcelona, no, you, you lose. You got, when you play, if you get good players, you play good, because if I'm one of the best strikers, I'm going to play good. So why, if he's why one of the best defenders... Why is Conte good playing defensive without even a number nine against Barca? Be, and Man United be, play Lukaku, and now Mourinho's not still, but, but, but they have an amazing counter-attack. Right, okay? exactly. they, they attack seven players. They drew it's at home. But, does it, but if they have to attack, they can attack seven players, six players. We can attack Man at United, Old Trafford. You, guys, we'll attack at Old Sevilla, Trafford. 26 shots. Seven, yeah, eight on target. Chelsea, Man United, Chelsea, six shots, Chelsea, one on target. Chelsea are playing at home, but and they, they, have, they have 23 percent possession playing the counter right. tackle at number nine at home. Bailey, real We're quick, away from real home. quick, a few oh, weeks ago, Huddersfield versus Man United. Huddersfield, 55 percent possession. Oh, man. man, the big Man United, 45. What was the score? 19 shots on goal. What was the score? Five. 2 nothing, Man United. And that go. is a trap. That's and it's an absolute we won travesty. 2-0. We're sitting second in the Support your team. Here. Go ahead. Come on. Uh, let me just put this go on your red. In, in a real context. The great Cesar Menotti, the great Argentina World Cup winning coach, he said, you can lose a game, but you can't lose the dignity of playing attractive football. And that's what I think, sadly, Gary, we don't want to watch a Man United that's that pragmatic. Yeah. We watch Atletico Madrid, they're pragmatic, but they still do it with a, 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 a verve and a style that's integrated I'd love to. the team. I'd love to, but Ray, but, but maybe it's them. not happening now. And if it's not happening, keep on winning. Maybe it happens in the final. Maybe in the final, should we get there, it but, all clicks and we win and everyone but, goes, what a wonderful but don't, performance. But don't, don't think so, Gary. Well, we don't, have to get there first. Don't tease the audience by bringing in Pogba that is a Sanchez. great aid and say, you know what, you're 6'3", open yourself up, baby. Get in so. the box, get back, whatever. Sanchez <laughs> will bring you in, but you have to defend you, first. Sanchez has been in Man United for one and a half months. I've never heard of him. So he's disappeared. Exactly. 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 This Different is all from does. about Manchester United, but there's yes. other teams that have been brought Thank up you. in this of conversation course. of late. Barcelona for some There's another moment, one. Ray. Why They've are you lost, saying this about They've them right lost now? an aesthetic uh, uh, that, for me, isn't as attractive. But even within the confines of this new coach who's adopting a different style, and certainly, like Gary's been on about, on the road, when they go on the road, they change their formation, and it's winning football. When I watch them, I am entertained, but not anywhere near as much. Uh, and as yet, what Ray, it used they've to scored be. more goals than Real Madrid. Right. And everyone's saying Real Madrid's great to watch, but they're scoring more. They're a better team going forward. They've got wonderful talent. Surely, football isn't just about scoring goals and winning five three. It's about good defenses, good goal. Yeah, David De Gea yeah. makes a great save. Gary, you That's all part of football. I agree. And I'm coming from the Italians. Exactly. So just, what are you arguing you, about? But you just can't defend and never attack for game after game there's some games you have to do that because the other team's stronger sure. but you can't do that every game if i'm a soccer player i don't even have fun it's i can't play like that i, I don't have fun you say every game and yet we're, I, we're scoring the but, same but, same goals but it doesn't mean it's the way you score free really? kicks things it, it, it's again. not even if i'm lukaku yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not happy. He's, he, they couldn't, he was on an island in that game. They was, couldn't yeah. find him. They He's always They didn't want to find him until yeah. he was isolated. And when you're talking about the Barcelona situation, for sure they have changed. But they still have an attack with the wing backs, with Messi, with the midfield. They're still coming out and entertaining yeah. in an attacking way that'll it, that'll never leave uh, Barcelona. If Barcelona adopted that style that seemingly one or two other clubs have. Uh, They'd be revolt. Unfortunately, it's down to only a few teams. Pep Guardiola steadfast. I must say, PSG against Bayern in both games, more possession. They win the first one, but as soon as Jupp Heynckes comes back, another pragmatic guy that won a title with Madrid and with Bayern, all of a sudden, you know what? Low pressure, that's fine. Right. We counter with good players as well. So there's not too many. 
I look at Sevilla, for instance, right now, yeah. and I say, Sevilla, God, with all the talent, you were 1-1 one -one at Barcelona with three minutes left, and you lose 2-1 as well. Napoli, why can't you not beat Juve? Mm -hmm. Why do you lose against Shakhtar? Beautiful teams that play. So once in a while, I say to those coaches, be more mm -hmm. pragmatic. Oh, Get a go. result. But go. Man United, you yeah. owe it to the world yeah. to yeah. play yeah. good yeah. football. Yeah. We have, have to, to play win. better. Okay, we have to play better, Gary. Yeah. Inter, Inter Milan 2010 treble. <gasps> that was not a nice team to watch. I know. But they won the treble. It's one of the greatest days in Inter's history. Didn't watch the, I know. Yeah. I'm and just saying. All I'm just so saying, what do you it, want? The treble no, with, a, with, they, an, with an ugly team? It's not or right or nothing wrong. With a happy, that if yeah. I have to go pay the ticket, I'm going to go to Barcelona, my friend. They were I'm full. They, the stadiums are full watching because Inter the, when they won the treble. Because they won for 30 years. It's different. But people want to want to win and watch nice football. Ideally, but you win first. You play nice football. Can I finish with the last one? And that makes this game so beautiful. Yes. Wigan beats Manchester City. 83% for City, by the way. 29 shots to three. 768 different, passes versus 115. Different. And you know what? Attack. Wigan, no. here we so go, attack. baby. What a different world, Thomas. <laughs> that was cup tie football, and Still. it's different. But I know it is. No, the statistics back it up. It's not all about the pretty game, the prettiness of No, but I think possession. that's beautiful, right? That but Wigan can upset a city. Of course. To me, the that's the game. the and the Dunkirk Correct. spirit Correct. and all that. Yeah, we get that. We can respect but that. when you talk about a team that is going to ever deviate away from playing the way they used to, with the George Bests and the Bobby Charlton's yeah. and the Dennis Laws yeah. and the... the the G Gorsi, the Van Nistelrooy, Gary Bailey in goal. Yeah, hang, yeah, hang on a second. Honestly, you, you, had, you had a Moyes era, you had a Van Gaal era. Your lot really destroyed things, and slowly yeah, okay. Mo is improving things. He's picking. We're sitting second. We've got a good chance of going through the quarterfinals. Yes, it's not the flowing football of Alex Ferguson from four years ago, but he's had to rebuild the I'll team in that Klopp. process. I take he's Pochettino. Getting there. Yeah, yeah. All those guys over All the right. Chelsea last year, by the way. Let's see. The Chelsea draw, Sabi. The draw for the last 16 of the Europa League is set, and one of the picks of the round has to be Milan against Arsenal. So we're going to go around the table to ask what excites you about this tie and who you've got. I'll start with you, Christian Vieri. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to this one? Can I say the truth? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't care. But <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, I hope on, I man. hope Milan wins because it's an come Italian on. team. I don't care about the Europa League. I have to, uh, can I, is it? We, we can say the truth. I don't go crazy come about on, Europe. I'm going to watch the game. I'm going to. Is there more Maldini incentive for them though no, when you see what happened and the rewards that Manchester United Bobo, get for winning the Europa me. League? Will these two teams be going for it, knowing that this is no, a prize worth, please, ha worth having? Can, 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 please don't think what happened before. You play the game. It's an important game. You play, you want to win so you can get through and go to the quarterfinals. It, it, it's bigger probably for Milan no and bigger for Arsene Wenger this game, although Wenger plays Ooh. this weekend in a, in a final as well against mm -hmm. City. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope, I bet Milan, I want Gattuso yeah. to do well. You, you look great in those calls. You ever play for the team or not? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. But hang on a no one's supporting Arsenal here very quickly. Seriously? I mean, it's a team that's playing in one cup final. It's a top, top team in England. They've got Obama Young they've just signed. They've got Lacazette. They've got Uzel. Well. They've got Peter Cech. I'll tell you what, for me, it's a far better team than Milan. So if you're looking over two legs and the Arsenal play away first, which I think is always an advantage for me, these Arsenal. clubs as well, the, the, the tournament itself is, is going to be substantial. Both teams, and that's yeah. part of the attraction, the both teams, both great storied teams, especially Milan, need to have this silverware. And under Gattuso, they've improved quantifiably. The defenders are playing. Bonucci's starting to look like the old guy that, that he was, the brilliant player. Uh, up front, they're starting to click. Everything's going right. And Wenger, more than even Gattuso, needs to show yep. a big European tournament yep. uh, with, with the silver wave. Yep. This is a big game, no okay, question Okay, so about we're going to get your predictions on it, and we'll start with you, Christian. Who's going through, Milan or Arsenal? Hey. No. Oh, Come on. Don't give me. Ar Arsenal. Don't say draw. What? You're going Arsenal. Who's going through? <laughs> I Arsenal? hope Milan, but I think Arsenal. You think oh, Arsenal? Oh. Don't go on Twitter well, tonight, man. You're telling We're going to start putting you. a question mark in the prediction box for you, Christian, because you seem to want to change your mind. Dude, Ray. You just took <laughs> me on. I, I'm, oh, I'm doing it on purpose. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> Why? Because. Okay. Ray. You're the, everything's too easy then. Okay, all right, all right. Fair Who enough. You got? Okay. Uh, I, I, w I think I would go with uh, um, Milan. I think I would go with Milan. You're yeah. right. Well, well, you know not what? convincing in <laughs> ah, any okay. sort of way. No. Yeah. You go with Milan legs. too. I had Milan. I'm going so. with Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, you go oh, with Milan. Who you picked. Milan, Milan, Milan. <laughs> I bet them gay from day I'm one. Okay, they're all talking about. I'm going for Arsenal. I think they're a better team. They play away first. 
and I think they're going to get through. Oh. And I want you to keep this so we can talk about it. Don't need another year, year of Arsene yeah. Wenger, man. Don't need another year. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably well. going to be right, though, Gary's over the two legs. But, but maybe you're right. Wow, maybe look at Stick around with us here on the locker room when we return. Real Madrid are not too short of options in attack, but the same can't be said of its defence. We'll discuss Los Blancos' defensive struggles. We'll also wade in on Unai Emery against Thiago Silva, and we'll bring you even more predictions. Stick around. Welcome back to the locker room. Now, Zidane could start with the BBC against the Inform Alaves this weekend. We know that. We do also know that Marco Asensio, the wonder boy, is doubtful due to having a wisdom tooth removed. It doesn't seem to be offensively that Zidane's got so many struggles right now, though. Defensively is where some of the problems have been lying for Real Madrid, who have been leaking a number of mm, goals. So how goals. can he fix the problem Can, in his can I give line? you a goalkeeper's perspective and the way I think Kayla Navas sees it? He sees Carvajal going up one wing, he sees Marcelo going up the other, he's there for two centre-backs and he's constantly going, we're in trouble on any counter-attack. And you can't stop those full-backs, so I would say Casemiro, I'd like to see them play with four in midfield, Casemiro, keep Modric deep, so you've got a little bit of help for the centre-backs and then play Kroos and maybe Isco in attack. Because those two full-backs, when they both go, they leave two defenders Very, in the back. They get caught every time. You're playing for Real Madrid. If you don't attack, the stadium is going to come That's down. why I have two they're defensive throw, midfielders. They're going to throw the chairs <laughs> on the field if you don't attack. <laughs> you have to attack. But look they where they are see. in the league then if okay, they're doing all this attacking and just, not defending. Okay, but you know, you got to attack. You, you said to the Real Madrid people, no, we're going to play 4-4-2. They, they, they're going to come inside the stadium uh, and eat uh, you. I, I think the key, which in modern soccer is the one word that stands out, is transition. Transition with the ball and without the ball. The inability for Madrid to kill transition. And killing means 80 yards away from goal, foul somebody to get numbers back, maybe get organized. The inability, as I said again, to be organized. It's not just your back four, Gary. you got to look at that midfield four yeah. and those yeah. two up front as well. Because as Bobo says, where does the defense start, Bobo? With the up number, front! With the number nine, yeah. exactly. And I don't think that Ronaldo, Benz, yeah, Modric, yeah, those guys that. were as good this year as they were last year. And all the hanging, letting their, their fullbacks hang out to dry at times as yeah. much as Marcelo yeah. is maybe at fault too. But it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, the, the a three, team problem, not three, just an individual. The three most important games, one against PSG and two away mm. games. So why are we talking about the defense? Well, because they're sitting in third position, 20 points behind Barcelona. Okay, well, that was four the, months ago. Now and all... Part of the reason is because of the forwards as well that feeds into this argument here that uh, had the forwards been a little bit more good at finishing off these chances, the defense would have a lot more less to cope with. I mean, really, in, in a lot of ways, you, you know, once you're starting to score, you can adjust. Casemiro becomes a much deeper player, protecting his back lane. I'll tell you one, though, guys, that I, I think has fallen off for me when I watch Real Madrid, and I've loved him, and he's still scoring important goals, but Sergio Ramos mm -hmm. seems mm -hmm. to have been a little bit out at lunch too many times and allowing yeah. players yeah. to drift 100%. in behind and yeah. drift in yeah. in front. And uh, it's like he's been, he's been absolutely perfect. He's been, for me, the best central defender yeah. in world football f for the last few years in terms of, a and, and the captain as well, of late, he's been a Cause, little... Because nobody can cover this. him, can they, Ray? The problem right. is, if both your fullbacks are up and then Ramos goes looking for goals or something, there's just Varane at the back. If your fullbacks are there, your the, centre-back the can go. The thing is that, but, like Ray said, the first six months, they weren't scoring. So the, the, the defence and the midfield is under pressure yeah. for the whole 90 minutes. Normally, the chances they have, if they have five chances, they're going to score four. They're up 2-0, 3-0. They start playing and relax. The even, game's over. Even if in the they, PSG game, you saw it, Bobo, when PSG started to come back in the game. And yeah. Real Madrid had opportunities to put that game away, especially Cristiano. Remember, there was chances that you, they were automatic Ronaldo types of goals. It didn't happen. And then the game was a, right. not allowed to swing, but started We're to swing about, back. Talking about swinging, let me go, back, let me go to PSG here. <laughs> PSG is a worse defense than Real Madrid. 
PSG, yeah, in France, in the last seven games, given up 11 goals. They won 5-2. Woo, woo, woo. They lost 2-1 <laughs> against Lyon. They gave up three against <laughs> <laughs> Rennes. They gave up two against Gimpa. So they've we, given we up more goals. We put the last five for Real Madrid, but it might be more or less the Kane. same. Of goals leaked for Real Madrid in seven Exactly. Games. So I think that yeah. PSG is as vulnerable oh, and that no. Real Madrid right. has an opportunity to score a I goal disagree the on the that. road. Okay. Kane, yeah. Benzema hasn't scored goals. If he scores his 25 goals like he's supposed to score until today, they would have won at least 10 games that they didn't win. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. That's Absolutely. 30 points. Or eight games. He's and not scoring. So they're playing with 10 men, basically. Well, okay, but if Thomas he's not scoring, they're still conceding a lot more. But than if Barcelona, you score, a lot more. If, if, but if they score the way that Benzema hasn't been scoring this year. If he scores 20 goals, He's yeah, no, he's no more goals. Right. One every two games. Madrid. They've been winning you mentioned games. PSG, yeah. and we've got to talk about PSG. Yeah. We're looking forward to their game against Marseille uh, this weekend. This week, Unai Emery said, Thiago Silva is still PSG's captain, and he's very important to us. And this has come after the Brazilian defender was dropped for that Real Madrid game. Because of that situation, the coach was also seemingly the subject of now social media jibes from the wife of Silva, which was later deleted. There's talk that it was an attempt from the coach to challenge the power of the Brazilian contingent in the dressing room. What do you think? Yes, I think one thing. I'm gonna be, then I want to let the guys talk. A big game like that, okay? Don't go changing things. Well, things. Yeah. Don't go. Don't go inventing. Mm -hmm. Einstein can invent. No one else can. Don't go taking the best player out. That game there. You and then in 66 minutes, you Hard take your yeah. Don't go. Don't go making. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, That's uh, enough. In two fronts. Well said, man. Thanks, man. Uh, Di, Di Maria and Thiago Silva leaving them yeah. out of that yeah, lineup agreed. was uh, was shocking, and yeah. you could see it on the bench yeah. as well. I mean, these are not just ego players as well. How is that going to be melded? Hopefully, this week in the in the big classic game in France, that's going to be you know a, a marvelous game to start rehearsing. So far, I think over the last two years has been a locker room, locker room lawyer. I mean, we we all know that. The captain, the brave heart, totally melted in a 6-1 loss against Barcelona. Their leader made himself small. And I think Emery looked at that and said, you know what, I can't count on him. Marquinhos and Ken... No, Kembe. and Kembepe is a better pairing than Silva you with Marquinhos, to be really Thomas, honest with you. Okay. And Silva's not a good guy. But you made him play the whole year. Unto this, the whole yeah. year. Don't make him play then. I, I don't but you don't make him play this game. Because yeah. then, if you, don't, if you take him out and then come on in the sixth day, Everyone's going to destroy you. But it's a if you make them I, yeah. play and leave him there and Silva plays, it's a no one's going to say anything. It's agree? Cavani coming off that really messed things up. For we me. Right. can't take off a great finish of To a break, guys. Stick All around again, with us. We've got these more breaks. predictions when we return. <laughs> 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 There's commercials in the United States once in a while. There is a massive rivalry in the Turkish Super League coming up this weekend. It's Besiktas against Fenerbahce, two of the league's most successful clubs. Who have you gone for, Gary? Besiktas last lost at home 37 games ago. They love playing at home. Besiktas to win. Thomas. Isla is in the back. Chilean international, my favourite player. Fenerbahce will win. Ray. Oh, Besiktas, like of course. everything yeah. that Gary said. <laughs> Fieri. <laughs> Fenerbahce, like yeah. Kay said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for Fenerbahce too because I what? picked them in the sweepstake. I've got to go well for done, them. Well done, Good choice. Watch all this weekend on V in Sports. Thanks for joining us on the locker room. As always, from Vieri, from Ray, from Thomas, and from Gary. Good night. Bye. Don't remember Vincent Janssen, Fenerbahce.